Autumn in southern Spain, the time when the olives turn green and plump ahead of the harvest. The province of Jaén has become a virtual monoculture, more than 60 million olive trees producing more than a fifth of the world's olive oil. But this year's harvest is projected to be down massively. Gabriel Chica has spent his life working these groves. He says this summer's drought, which scientists have called the worst for 500 years, has left some trees barren, some with a much reduced number of usable olives. This is the main source of income, especially for people from the high end area. Without olives, then construction work goes down, and a bit of everything else will be lost. If people don't have incomes, they don't spend. Olive trees are famously hardy, able to survive extremes of heat and cold and keep producing their fruit. The fact that these trees are so stressed after this year's drought and heat wave is a worrying sign for this region that relies so heavily on them. The fear is that climate change could greatly disrupt Spain's olive oil production line. The country provides nearly half of the entire global supply. Agriculture already places huge demands on limited water resources. Industry leaders fear this summer's shock could point towards a future not too far away. Everything indicates that what used to happen occasionally is becoming something structural. This unfortunately means average temperatures will rise with higher peaks as well and very little rain. And when it does rain, it's going to be torrential. Already, along with other vegetable oils, prices are going up. Although producers say not by enough to compensate for this year's collapsed harvest. It's green gold, oil, vegetables, everything has gone up because of inflation. And also now with the small production of olive oil, it all has an impact when it comes to rising prices. In the fields, the work goes on. The aim to salvage as much as possible of this year's harvest. The forecast is for more dry weather in the coming weeks. And while that's a worry, the real fear is what will happen to this arid farmland in the coming years. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Southern Spain.